Hey, it's D Factory Rat here from the Model Factory. I found this in my yard the other day and I brought it in and uh, painted it silver. I thought it looked kind of cool, so I kind of made a skull model kit out of it. Um, I thought maybe that guy Lucas C would like it. He's got the uh, steer skull on his uh, channel for his. Uh, for his, uh, the Lucas C channel. Uh, and Lucas C asked a question recently about uh, box art and what you thought was uh, nice box art and what box art inspired you. So we'll come in the stash room tonight and uh, we're going to look at some, uh, some box art, talk about some models. So this is the first model kit that I remember buying with my own money, the Baja Beast. I just remember that this kit, um, I see in it, and it was in the early 70s. I was born in 65, so I was pretty young. But I remember um, this, this box grabbed me, and I thought it was so cool with the little mini bike and the... the um, the Volkswagen bus uh, van and uh, and it's got the big engine in the back and so I remember I bought this one and I built it uh, it actually it turned out pretty nice actually I had it for a long time but this was always a fun model and I, I thought this might have been a Tom Daniels kit but I don't think it was maybe it wasn't a Tom Daniels kit I know it was around that time period um, here it says copyright 70 to 73, so it must have come out around that time. Um, yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> this isn't the kit I, I bought at the time. It's a, one I picked up later, but it's a complete kit, so I end up, I'm going to try to build that. So that was my first model kit I actually remember buying with my own money and put together as a kid. Uh, really grabbed me, so, um, let me show you. Let me show you my first uh, semi truck uh, that I bought. I remember seeing this at the hobby shop, and I thought that was uh, really cool box art. And that was my first uh, semi truck that I bought and I built. That California hauler, and uh, I just thought that was cool. So that's my first two. Uh, model kits I remember purchasing and putting together um, <clears throat> That day too, I remember my father was with me and he ended up picking up this kit, which is a beautiful box art also it's a it's like a Gabriel Hubbly type metal kit So I remember that one means a lot to me too So let's look at uh, now as far as those are the first kits I remember that really grabbed me. As far as like uh, my favorite box art, um, I remember this classic uh, AMT kit. This is one of my grandfather's uh, kits, and it's still in the box. Original, original kit. Um, the silhouette, uh, Bill Cushenberry. Uh, he was he was uh, he won the uh, Roadster Oakland 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 Roadster show. I think it was back in uh, 63 64 and I just thought the box art on this kit was just so beautiful um, Real futuristic looking the black background and uh, <clears throat> I know they repopped this kit uh, Several times, but I always thought this this picture this box art was the, the uh, the best as far as I'm concerned there's a picture of the a version with the drag car and uh, some of the some of the parts but yeah I always like this I always like this one so there's that <clears throat> and I remember I remember this kit really you know too uh, just beautiful Beautiful picture, beautiful box art, beautiful car. It's an MPC kit. 
and even the side box art is really cool. It shows the chassis, how it sits in the car and all that. So I just thought that one was cool. Um, let's look at some IMC kits. A couple of those. I just thought this uh, IMC box art was really nice. Um, just the way that the the reflections on the car, the top view, the uh, the way that the uh, the wire wheels I look like they're in motion and they're sparkling. Uh, I always thought that was just a beautiful, beautiful kit. And uh, I always thought this one was cool too. The, uh, the Volkswagen. It's got the altered and the stock version. Uh, so it's cool to see them side by side. This box is cool because it shows uh, it shows the front end of the stock Volkswagen on this end. And you spin the box around. And you see the back end over here. So I always thought that was a. Uh, thought those were a couple cool looking box arts from IMC. Then we have. Let me grab a couple more here. I got a little stack around me, so you have to bear with me. <clears throat> this classic Woody uh, 31 Woody kit here. It's got the surf and everything. I thought this kit was really cool looking. Now, I heard that back in the 70s, probably like the late 70s, they had changed some laws and they had made it so that they could, a lot of times when they sold toys to children, they couldn't uh, have um, drawn box art. They actually had to show uh, what the kit, uh, what, the, what the toy actually looked like. So I, th I heard that that was kind of what, kind of made uh come came to an end for the um for the drawn uh box art uh, i don't know if that's true or not um you can let me know in the comments if uh if you heard that or not but it kind of makes sense because <clears throat> early on you've seen a lot of this um really nice drawn uh artwork and then it seemed like you got down around the 80s and it all just kind of disappeared and you started seeing pictures of uh of uh real models on the box and you didn't see too much box art but here's that silhouette kit again this is a repopped version um i think they repopped this kit i don't know at least three or four times but they changed the box art on it so um that was what that one looked like this was a 1965 kit ravel I always thought this 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 picture was real cool. And <clears throat> I remember this car. My grandfather bought a lot of these models because he had a 56 Ford Victoria. And I just remember this box art with the drag strip. Uh, just really uh, making an impression on me. There's a custom version here on this side. And then there's a... There's a stock uh, picture right here. So I thought that model always made an impression on me. We'll <clears throat> go to some, some newer stuff. Here's a here's a beautiful picture, <clears throat> the actual real photograph instead of a drawing of a Ford IMSA uh, Mustang with the flames coming out. I always thought that box art was really cool looking. And we have a couple more. This kit here, I always thought was beautiful. Sorry about the reflection, but it's a it's a Tamiya uh, Jaguar uh, race car. But just the cutaway picture on this box is just really beautiful. And uh, beautiful race car. I actually was able to see that car. Back in the 80s at Sebring, running around on the track with that 12-cylinder blowing the flames out. It was beautiful. My friend George, he's going to love this one. The Road Warrior Mad Max. George from uh, uh, that Mofo Damon. Um, 
don't know if he's ever seen this one, but I know that he uh, he loves this car like I do. So I thought that box art was really cool. It's kind of got it's got the, uh, the, the the drawn box art and some some movie pictures on the side too. So I'd like to find another one of those kits. I know they're really rare. And here's the box art that I think is really nice. Ford GT race car it's running in the rain. See the spray coming off the tires and everything. That was a beautiful kit. And it has pictures of the real car on the side. It looks great too. There's that one. <clears throat> this one I just picked up recently for 15 bucks. It's partially built, but box art on this is just really nice too that was cool and we have the from the movie Blade Runner we have the Blade Runner police car it's a really cool scene in the background Sorry about the reflection. And then uh, there's a Blade Runner spinner, which I thought was a cool picture too. So those are a couple of uh, movie cars. Here's a TV show from the 80s, Miami Vice with Tubbs and Crockett. Here's a nice action picture. Of them in the scarab. It's even cool the way the the boats pop popping out of the uh, the picture there. It just really grabs you the colors. I thought that was really cool. Love the show. And <clears throat> I showed this one. This is a kit. This is a model I built last year for the big rig group build. And I just thought that that truck looked so cool with the reflection and all. Uh, I pulled that one out. Show you if you haven't seen that one before. And I can't talk about uh, box art without talking about the uh, the tins. Here's my Star Trek lunch box. Got beautiful box art on all the way around. You got Spock on the back. The colors are so vivid on these. They just really pop on these tins. And we have the uh, we have the Red Baron here. Love these tins. So cool. And uh, a really beautiful one is this uh, this monsters uh, tin. Just. Uh, really stunning the, the real photos that they have on the side there's photos all over this box um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of this this kit but there's there's both uh, cars are in there and um, <clears throat> there's a really beautiful color booklet in here with a lot of pictures in it a lot of these pictures are in the booklet and uh, just it's a really cool model if you uh, if you like the series, I know they're redoing the movie. Maybe they'll come back out with it. It'd be nice. Here's another uh, Star Trek tin. And uh, really cool box art. So <clears throat> I guess that wraps it up. I want to say thanks to Luca C channel for, um, for, for talking about the box art. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers for watching. Thanks everybody for watching my channel and uh, checking out my videos and my builds. And uh, we'll talk to you in the uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.